Hey, what's good everybody? John for Note Define by here, and I'd just like to take a quick minute to just thank all of y'all that have been watching the videos, liking the videos, sharing, subscribing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. So today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be looking at the session, the Ableton Live session for this video that I did. Uh, making a beat with the Novation Launchpad in uh, six minutes. So we're gonna be taking a look at the project file because some of you guys have been asking me about how I kind of had the session set up. So I'm gonna kind of go through real quick and kind of run you through the session, how I had everything set up in Ableton Live, uh, and hopefully this will answer all your questions. So, so right here I have all my drums loaded into a drum rack. And basically, I just had all those loaded up, so uh, let's take a look at the drums now. So I have my kick, uh, snares, claps, hats, and, you know, there's a little bit of processing on here. You know, a little auto panning, a little delay, a little EQ. And then I have a couple of returns uh, that I have a reverb and a delay on. And those are basically just set up through the, uh, through the drum rack itself. So that's the drums, then we have the bass. And on the bass I have a one knob pumper, just doing a little bit of a little bit of pumping, half note pumping. So I have the uh, sub bass here, which is just a sine wave that's just uh, pitched down a couple of octaves. Then I have a top layer for the bass here. And this is just a preset through uh, AAS player. This is just uh, from the Sean Devine's Low End Theory. And then I have uh, this piano sample that I cut up into five different parts and I load it into a drum rack. So basically I have, the only thing I did with this uh, was I set up these choke points. I set up these chokes on them so that I could, uh, to kind of clear it up, I'll let you hear what it sounds like without. So that's what it sounds like without the choke on, and this is what it sounds like with it. So putting the choke on definitely cleans it up. It makes sure that uh, each sound doesn't overlap one another. And uh, yeah, so that's basically what I wanted there. And finally, I have the vocal sample here, which I have uh, loaded into Simpler. And that basically allows me to play this uh, sample like a instrument, like so. And that's just going to a little reverb and delay that I have set up a couple of returns. And then on the master bus, I just have Isotope Ozone 5, and I just got a maximizer just to make it louder. And uh, yeah, that's about it for uh, the session. If you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. Like the video if you liked it. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.